Oh, could you guys imagine being buried alive? Could you imagine being buried alive? Well, it used to be an enormous problem. Back in the early 19th century and early 20th century, it happened on average once a week. It was that big of a problem. Can you believe that? It was such a big problem that there were several inventors like trying to make patents for different safety exit coffins. Could you imagine like waking up in a coffin and then knowing exactly what to do because they had like trainings on it like fire drills like buried alive drills <laughs> what they would do in the most simple ones is that they would tie a string to a person's hand and they would they would bury them but then they would run that string up through the ground and attach that string to a bell so if the person happened to wake up and start moving around then that bell would ring and a grave digger working the graveyard shift would come around and dig up that person hopefully before they ran out of air. If they succeeded in doing that, then it said that the person saved was saved by the bell. Now, some people say that that saying actually comes from boxing, but um, either way, another saying came, comes out of it. And that's dead ringer. And that is some is when a grave digger dug up the person who was buried alive, but they ran out of air before they were able to save the person. And then they were just dead by the time they were exhumed. So pretty sad thing that it would happen once a week. There were like patents for like different air tubes, uh, also like bells and flags. Flags were used sometimes. There were windows in some of these things so that like if you were being dug out and then saw the light of day, it would hopefully make you hold on just a little bit longer for them to open that casket. And then there were also some with escape hatches. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone should be buried with an escape hatch because then what happens if they turn into zombies? You're making it way too easy for them to just wreak havoc. It's, oh, it's horrible. Anyways, this is a song about that whole idea being buried alive, but it's told from the perspective of the person above ground. <clears throat> the Grave Digger. It's called Busy My Spade, and this Grave Digger makes it his life's work to dig up people who've been buried alive. can you tied the twine to your sister's hand laid out the bell after she got low and i was summoned here to be the guide and a singer off to the other side but if anything should happen you'd be the first to know if she laying in the shade of a reaper's gown i busy my speed when i hear the bell sound no matter how low I'm busy in my speed when I hear that bell now. Yes, I'm busy in my speed. Busy in my speed. I'm busy in my speed. No one goes to hell now. When I'm busy in my speed. No. in the bone house when I was a boy making room for the new pushing back the soil when I found gouges made from within maybe a lover mother or brother it wasn't long till I found another put down low and they never should have been so now at night I sing among the dead and busy my speed when I have a company men I did and sing, dig and sing, dig and sing, dig and sing, and busy my speed. I 
Happy's in my speed when I hear that bell now. Yes, I'm busy in my speed. I'm busy in my speed. Happy's in my speed. No one goes to hell. spade based off a true story these things actually happened can you imagine can you imagine being buried alive that would be awful all right i love you guys cheers i hope you have a spectacular evening